This is the largest brew house in the world. We have 50 copper kettles in here. Each is about two stories tall and holds close to 30,000 six packs of beer. We use only the best ingredients in our beer. We use Rocky Mountain water, two row Moravian barley, hops, and cereal grains. Our recipe starts in the first kettle, which is called malt mash-in. This is where we heat the grist, malt barley, and Rocky Mountain water to create malt mash. That mixture is then transferred to the mash tuns, where the starches are converted to sugars. Mash is then sent through filter presses to separate the solids from the liquid. The liquid, called malt extract, is collected in the third kettle called a brew kettle. The hops and any specialty spices are then added to give us wort, which is a German word for unfermented beer. The wort is heated in the brew kettle and then sent through a whirlpool which spins the beer and separates the solids from the liquids. It is then sent to the wort cooler where it is drastically cooled. From this point forward, the entire process is cold and sterile. The wort is sent to the fermenting tanks where we add in our proprietary strain of lager yeast. The yeast consumes the sugars in the wort and produces alcohol and CO2, which is the carbonation in beer. Once the wort has gone through the fermenting tanks, it is officially beer, but not quite ready to drink. It is then sent to aging tanks where three things happen naturally, secondary fermentation, secondary carbonation, and flavor maturation. After the aging process, the beer is cold filtered to remove the yeast. It is then sent to our Enzinger filters to remove any remaining solids, anything larger than a micron. The Coors Brewery is the birthplace of Banquet and Coors Light.